Hey guys, Jason Creel. I am here with Blake Alverson from B&B Lawn Care. We got a fun video today going through 10 customer stereotypes and uh, you're probably going to be familiar with these if you're in the lawn care business. Some of these you're going to think that's, I think he's uh, looking at some of my customers, but I'm going to get Blake to give a score to them. One being, no, that's the worst customer ever. I don't want that as a customer. 10 being, that's my ideal customer. Please send me hundreds more of those. We're down here at the 2022 Hype House Entrepreneur Academy and the Hardscape Academy are presenting uh, the Hype House this year. So you can go check out those resources if you want to be in the maintenance side. Go to Entrepreneur Academy if you want to be a hardscaper. Go to the, the Hardscape Academy. Hi, right, Blake. Thanks for uh, being with us down here, hanging out in sunny Florida, different hey. than your. Uh, where you, you're like in Missouri, but what, are you close to St. Louis, or where are you? Where no, you we're we're like probably four hours from St. Louis in Kansas okay. City, Missouri. Okay. Cold, snowing, Terrible. but this is a funny idea. I'm super excited. All right, so here's our. We got ten stereotypes, and like I said some of these might sound familiar to you. But one is, is no, I, I would not take that as a customer. Ten is yes, I love that customer. All right, let's do it. Number one, old lady who wants to talk to you for ten minutes every time you come. I love her. I love talking with her. But uh, as I'm growing and now I have employees and, and the employees running the trucks and she still tries to talk to them, I'm going to give her a, a three because I love her. I want her as a client, but we're going to have to keep the chatter to a minimum. All right. Number two, refuses to pick up the kids toys in the backyard and has consistent Nerf gun battles. You yeah. know, do you, do you have to go talk to them or, or do you just charge more or you say, no, I don't want to do it. I mean, what, what do you do in that situation? I talk to them. If it, normally it clears it right up. I've had a couple where it, it just I talk to them, it's good the next week, and then they keep doing it, and, and we just got to let them go. I mean, we can't be running over the toys. It makes us look bad. It could damage our equipment, and, and we're, we can't waste 10 minutes picking up the toys. So I give them a one. <laughs> okay. All right. A one being like if they refuse to do it. If anything, they refuse to do it. Yeah. You know, hey, so if, it, if it happens, yeah. they had a party, no yeah. big deal. But man, if it's a consistent weekly thing, you get a one. Yeah, but you're gonna talk to them first. Absolutely, yep. All right, number three, it's a tiny yard that's very profitable, okay? okay? But it's eight minutes from your next closest property. Um, I would, pr I would definitely add it into the price. I, I give it a four. It's not the worst thing because it's super easy, it's small. We're making good money on it. It takes no time at all. So it just, I would equate it to be eight minutes working at the property. So add that into the time it takes to cut the property and maintain it. Um, just making sure your numbers are right on that. Yeah, that, I never really thought about that. You just add that travel time into as if it was like working time. Because like I say, it's almost the ideal customer if it was in an established area, but if it's the only thing wrong with it is you got to drive eight minutes out of the way. Yeah, and the only difference that, that eight minutes would be is you're burning the gas for the truck. Yeah, but you're sitting in the air conditioner in the sun, yeah. so that gives some pros to it. All right, um, number four. This person's a good customer for the most part, but at least twice a year they ask you, can you please skip my yard this time? We, we don't think we need it, so we're going to skip it. I give you uh, an eight. I mean, it's really, I get it. It's no big deal. Like if it's dormant um, or it's super hot in the middle of the summer, um, we skip yards. You know, we don't. We're not gonna just go mow it just to to grab the little bit of money. You know, if if the yard doesn't need it, we don't cut it. So that that's not really that uncommon. And with your cool season grass, and when it gets hot and dry in the summer, they, nope. they they're growing like crazy in the spring, but then they they really slow down in the summer, and then they kind of perk back up in the fall. That's that, correct. Uh, yeah, it's really I get it all the time. It's no big deal. Yeah, ours is almost the exact opposite. We're slow in the spring. I mean, it's barely growing. This summer goes nuts, and then yeah, that's crazy. Slow. Yeah, it's hundred degrees is ideal. So uh, not for me, but for the grass. All right, uh, number five. This person. It, everything's fine with them, except that they're one of those that kind of is constantly peeking through the blinds, watching everything <laughs> you do, and it just kind of gives you a weird feeling. What do you think about yeah, that? Yeah, you know what I do? I grab my camera, I put it on the tripod, and I record myself, and now everybody's watching. It's a show. 
not a problem with me. Um, I've, I've had multiple of those clients. Uh, if they're great people, good clients, and they just wanted to watch me, uh, hey, I got a YouTube channel as well. They can go on there. So, All right. No big deal. I give them a nine. No big All deal. All right. Number six. Customer is, is, is uh, they always pay you, but they almost always pay you late, and you're constantly having to text them and say, hey, I, I didn't get paid last time. Would you mind taking care of that? One. <laughs> I, I appreciate that because I'm tired of the late payers too, man. I, it's just like at some point you gotta become an adult, you know, and pay your bills. Hey, like um, you're paying your mortgage, your water bill, you're paying everything else. Pay me too. Yeah, who, who, what other person works a normal job would not be upset if they got their paycheck showed up two two weeks late? Exactly. Too. All right, uh, number seven. This person wants to come out there and tell you how to mow the grass so that they stay. They're like <laughs> saying, oh, I think you're mowing it a little too low or a little too high or would you mind edging this a little different? You know, they're kind of giving you some good uh, good hot tips on your... Yeah, if it's con uh, consistent, I give you a one. Uh, you know, hey, I I've worked my whole life to, to build a business and come up with the knowledge of how to do it the best job I can. Uh, I give you a one, man. All right. I'm going to wait on that saw. All right, number eight, three dogs in the backyard with <laughs> absolutely no extra effort to t take care of the poop cleanup. One, I can't do it. Um, Not even riding on mowers? You, you, oh, no, because it gets in my trailer, and then it gets somehow in my garage, and then that's where I sleep at night, and that's just a no-go. I had to have a conversation with one of my clients, and it just didn't help. They had three dogs, they had kids, it, they just have enough time to make sure that the dog poop was picked up, so I, I had to let them go, it's to, a one. To me, the, the actual string trimmer is worse than the mower. <laughs> it, it will throw it sometimes. Absolutely. You know? I, don't, I don't appreciate that. Number nine, this yard, and you may not deal with this year, I don't know, but it, let's picture a, a yard that's so hilly you can't get a, a walk behind or, a, I mean, you, you gotta push it basically. You can't get a zero turn on it. So it's a hilly yard, but it requires pushing. Yeah, yeah that or trimming. I've had it um, a few times. I did it when I was, you know, had a smaller business, was a younger guy, and it was no big deal. I added a little bit of, uh, of money to it, but now that I, ha I run crews and send employees out on their own, just for safety, uh, we just don't do stuff like that because if it's too steep to get a big mower on, that means it's still dangerous to trim, to walk on, or to push mow. So I, we just, we can't do stuff like that anymore. And I think for me, honestly, it's like, do I enjoy it or not? You know, I mean, I'm not saying like, I'm always smiling like I'm eating ice cream, but like, if I, if I, every time I leave a property, I feel less about myself and right. I hate, I'm hating life. Yep. Like, well, it's not worth it to that, you know? So, uh, number 10, this person leaves you a generous year-end tip every year, but they also consistently complain. Oh, catch-22 right there. Um, complaining, sometimes you just can't make people happy. I've had it where, we, I mean, we will spend twice as much time as we would on an average yard, and we still get the same complaints. And I know it, the problem's not even there, it's just some people feel like they have to validate what I'm doing by complaining and making sure I go like above and beyond every time. I love the tip. I love the year-end bonus, but um, I, I would probably have to let you go. <laughs> yeah, I got you. All right, uh, Blake, appreciate you playing the game. And, and you tell me where people find you on social media. You podcast and now you're on Instagram. You're TikToking. You're on YouTube. I mean, <laughs> what, what, what? How do people keep up with all that? How do you keep up with it, but how do people find you? Yeah, BNB Lawn Care on YouTube, at BB Lawn Care KC on Instagram and TikTok, and the BNB Lawn Care podcast on all pa uh, podcast platforms. And I do it by just uh, cranking out content, man. It, it's it's tough, but it's part of my schedule, and I love connecting with people and helping people uh, and showing off my work. Appreciate Blake being with us. Thanks. Appreciate you guys watching the video. Maybe there's... Maybe you want to score in the comments, or maybe there's some stereotypes I missed, and you want to leave a, leave one for the next video. We'll, we can uh, start a new list. But thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye. Thanks.